What's going on, family? Double it over to here, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. All right, I decided to squeeze out one more. Fuck it. Let's see what's at the end of this. Uh. That's you? Ooh. Um. Ah, I need to wake up that rune over there. Incendium. Gotta wake up the rune. Incendium. I wonder if I can hit the rune with a spell. That's what I'm trying to do, okay? Oh, maybe I should do it this way. Oh, that's short. Okay. What else we got? Reparo, maybe? Reparo. I wonder nope. if I can hit the room with a spell. I can't. Maybe it's I can't. Maybe we gotta use light. Lumos. Oh, what the hell? All right, Lumos worked. Revelio. Oh. Okay. Well, not surprising. Guards at the ready. Karate! I never karate! Oh, shit! Hey, you like fire? Oh, he does not, no. What about you? You like fire? No? Sweet. Get the basement magic. Successful 10 combo generated ancient magic. Power ups. Oh, letting us do a Dava Karate. Copy that. Yep. Steady there, boy. Incendio. Oh. Whoa. Akio. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, that's too close. Nope, oh, you go up, and then we karate you down. Give me that. I want here. No. Nope. You another luminous man. I need more of these things. Lumos. Protego. There's a way to move these, I know it. Oh, do we just have to... Oh! Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, shit! Cheeky dick waffle. Lumos. Nice. 
The fuck? Probably don't need it, but like I said, I like it. This must be the way forward, but to where? Revelio. Back here. No. Okay, all that is something. Son of a bitch. Trying to be sneaky. Oh. I think they know I'm here. Karate! Think you can see me? He could probably see me, huh? Work on that, fam. It is a book after all. Akia. Seems too easy. Hi. Pensive. Okay. All right. Well, memory diving.
Okay. I mean, with that magic, you can look like gods to, to you know, to any quote unquote muggle. Look at that! At Hogsmeade? Can you heal people? You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth, fifth year. Fifth year, huh. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. So you see, it's a magic too. Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. Don't understand what are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, <laughs> Miss Morgana. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. <laughs> she didn't say yes! You just walk away. <laughs> okay. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I I'm help afraid her. I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said. Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. Oh, look how evil Peeves looks. You're a bright boy. Don't look waste those eyes. Peeves was There was mine. nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Ah, we owe him. There was treasure down there we couldn't get, though. Revelio. Damn it. Return to Mr. Fix. It's like in the middle of the night, isn't it? I don't. I don't get this. <laughs> Are we not still in the middle of the night? 
Revelio. There's nobody out here. Yoink. Hold on. What's this? There we go. Yoink. We wait here. off so no longer being sneaky rebellion what's chiming I wonder if he just, uh, maybe not black. If it was like Dumbledore, and he's like, look, my sister's been sick, everyone's given up on her. I feel like, you know, I just know there's something in the restriction section that can help her. I'm sure Dumbledore would help, but this asshole, this asshole doesn't give two shits. I don't even think he likes kids, to be honest. Mm, don't like this hat. That's better. Begin. Oh, take the book. This asshole. You cannot be serious. Wait. Goblins working with Rookwood. You're not the asshole. Makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox. <laughs> it's inconceivable. It's inconceivable. Ah, fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Ooh, scary ghost is so here. I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? <coughs> Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Uh, it was a pencil. Okay. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. Yeah. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Mm -hmm. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details, details to, to ourselves, ourselves. Yeah, that's a good until idea. we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. 
There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. Mm -hmm. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. Of course not. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Yeah, dude. Like this. Sticky time. Oh, I collect the rewards? Can we use that? Was it a hat? Yeah, it is a hat. Look at that. Boom. Not a terribly great looking hat. So we're just going to take it off. Uh, cool challenges. This stuff. Oh, a cape. Ooh, that looks cool. Nope. Go back. Uh, gear. I guess it's, it's a neckwear? Robes. I thought we got a cape. Did we not get a cape? Oh, there it is. Huh. Sticks with the robes entirely. Fuck it. We'll roll with this for a little bit. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow. And it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Oh, really? It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. You got also, it, bud. The training dummy is still available. <sighs> Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you and then proceed to see me in my classroom. There you are. Future champion coming through. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Cross Wands ready? Yeah. Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I am. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Good old sea bass. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. Why do you have three? What? Four? You guys are dicks! Oh, that's not the button I want. Oh, I see. Ugh. Alright. Alright, the buttons. There we go. Catch! 
Nice. I need to buy more potions. Ooh, my last one. What a victory! You won the tournament. I mean, we won the tournament. It was an honor. I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. <laughs> and we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize. And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. What is it? Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. <laughs> I wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Oh, they're probably dead, bro. What did I get? Oh. Hey. Bam. Outfit. Just a uh... Celtic attire, combat. There it is. Cross one dueling. Oh, I like the the pants. The pants are great, and the boots are nice too. Actually, you know what? If we keep that and we put an actual robe on. Yeah, that doesn't look half bad. Alright, I reckon this one better. Dig the boots, dig that. Yeah, we'll roll with that for a bit. Collections. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Yeah. That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Accio. Incendio. Levio. Done. Now what? Okay, so bam. One, two, three, bam. Incending. Bam. Good one. Tap. One, two, three. Leviosa. One, two, three. Accio. Birdie boy. Ah, uh, Birdie Boy's not ready for him. Ah. Well, Birdie Boy wasn't ready. Alright, one more time. Hup. Hup. Birdie. One, two, three. Up you get. One, two, three. Come to me, come to me, come to me. There we go. Birdie. One, two, three, four. There we go. That's it. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Could have done without you, man. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. <laughs> Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Even though you won the tournament already, I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. I like that kid. Look at Gryffindor. The best duelist won, I suppose. Oh, mm-hmm. Rebellio. You're important. Let's bet oh, there. Got a lock over there. 
It was pretty. stuff but how do we get in there it's like one massive greenhouse so dig it oh yoink get to leaves before we start class let's pill for everything we can Yike, yike. Thank you. Yike. Revelio. Get some of them. Anything shiny over here? All the pilfering. Stuff down here. I wonder if uh, if the chick will teach us how to Rebellion. pick locks. That'd be cool. I am terrible with names. The girl from Wandu. I gotta give her a nickname so I can remember. Can I just... Nope. Right there. There's a way down. Rebellio. Yoink, yoink. Definitely gonna need more potions. Ditch any leaves. Hopefully this will teach us how to grow our own stuff. Because I'm going to burn through a lot of potions in this game. I already feel it. Revelio. Yoink. Pressure garlic. Ha, <laughs> cute. Number There you are. Yuck. The cross one's duelist to beat. That's the thing, kid. You can't beat me. All right, let's go to herbology class, family. She is adorable. <laughs> Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. I love your wand. Class, I love your hair. I love your the gear. Rose in our garden. Don't look at me we like that, Sebastian. We to growing together. Oh, I am in love with that chick. To have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bulb. She forgot the eyebrow slider too. Look, her eyebrows don't match her hair. Today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Oh, the paralyzing Adios. screaming guy. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Cotton. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Yoink! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> we should have said that. 
get in there. You could have told us that before we put the earplugs in. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket. Putting dirty the blanket. mandrake right at ease. Repair. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. That's it. Splendid work, everyone. That was fun. Oh, now, there had to be more than that. Ah, oh, there we'll we go. We'll be planting dittany at our potting table. Mm. Ooh, I wonder if hippogriffs. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. Ah, oh, Puddin's busy. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have, have some, some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting Adore table in your her hair. classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's okay. see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy or roses. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should mm -hmm, know from mm -hmm. Professor Sharp's class. Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Dittany seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Dittany. Ready in 10 minutes. Really? Like well 10 actual done. minutes? Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Copy that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora. Chinese. The Chinese chopping cabbage. cabbage? <laughs> You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. <laughs> yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out I of this I love her room. so much. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. <laughs> oh, where you at, Mr. Pruitt? Is that you? The best time to plant a seed is last season. You. The second best time is now. Oh. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Oh, thank you, bud. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. Oh, and yeah. he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Yes. Oh. Talk shit about Sebastian. Oh. Thank Some you. Bitch. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. You need to watch Didn't your fucking mouth when you're talking about my friend. You. Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We uh, this fight with honor. Uh, no offense. Sorry. You wanna do some muggle dueling? Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Rebellion. Yoink. What do you what do you mean? Hold left, right, buffer. Oh. Huh. Was this always there? Look 
at that. Oh, oh shit! They can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but the they left the up with your cloak, in buddy. tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Suppose they come in handy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed <laughs> and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Yeah, we should. Oh, Take your time. You talk about you sea bass again? I'm gonna break your mouth. Okay? Okay. It's the difference between a uh, friend and a pal. A pal will hear stuff, people talk shit about you and tell you, and a friend won't let them speak. Former beauty. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear Five our dragon gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. Ooh, somebody lost some fingers. Uh fam, power of magic. We'll be right back. There we go. All right, we have five of them. Got ten minutes left. Let's return here. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? They are pretty they cool. Too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. It's a mite. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, Maybe and it will tend to you. To you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Copy that. All right, herbology class is done. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hair. <laughs> <laughs> Family, we're gonna call it here. Oh man, this game is awesome. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse so, as in the great hall. Do we not get? We plant more than just one seed. We probably get a garden or some shit, right? I know the rumor requirements a thing, so we'll probably get it there. All right, well, yep, we're gonna call it here. <sighs> All right, family. Well, if the Valkyries don't take me tonight, I will see you tomorrow in the next episode. You guys drink one for me, and I'll drink one for you. Take it easy, family. Now we play the waiting game.